Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Tangent Animation Studio, or should I say the previous Tangent Animation Studio and the present Autodesk. So this is more like a quick update and it has to do with a tool that the folks at Tangent created while they were still on course and that tool is known as loop as a storytelling tool it is for asset management production management render management and all that beautiful stuff so for those who have no idea tangent animation studio was a studio that was solely bent on working with blender as their main tool and they created some very fantastic projects with it so just in case you've seen this animation called next gen this was done in blender and alongside with some other tools but more specifically with blender and it was super, super interesting to see that Blender was involved in creating this masterpiece. And of recent, they also released very interesting animation called Maya and the Tree. And this one was done entirely in Blender and it was extremely nice. And, you know, throughout the whole production and development and creation of this entire thing, they made use of Loop or Loopy. And uh, this was actually made available to everyone through the Amazon marketplace as a SaaS, which is a software as a service. But, you know, after the shutdown of the Tangent Animation Studio, no one really knew what the fate of this tool was. So if you go over to the Amazon page, you would still see that it's here. But then this version of Loop by Tangent Animation is not allowed to new customers. So only existing customers were able to keep using this and newer customers were not. And this ties with the whole Amazon service in the sense that the rendering section of this was also being done or, you know, was also being managed by the Amazon deadline. This tool is a beautiful tool. I would suggest you get it if you're setting up a render farm. Just get it. It's extremely nice. So this right here makes sense. But then when people couldn't access this anymore and, you know, no one really knew what the fate was, Autodesk had to step in and today they made an announcement that they have finally acquired this cloud-based animation pipeline software from the folks at Tangent Lab. How much this was acquired, no one knows. What is the future for this, no one knows. We only know that they acquired this and right here they're saying that we believe that the cloud-based production ecosystem for the media entertainment suite of Autodesk is the right way to tackle the future need of the industry. So we already know that Autodesk does have a couple of tools like this, and one of them is called the Shot Grid, I think. So if you go over to the page, uh, you can see the Shot Grid, and the Shot Grid itself is for collaboration, real-time tracking of projects and all that. And it also has some sort of integration with Autodesk primary tools. But something that is a bit different from what you can get with Lupe or Loop from the folks at Tangent Lab is the fact that this was not only supported for you know, a Blender, there was also a very good support for Maya. So it had a good support for Maya, for Blender. And at the time of creation or at the time of uh, announcement of this tool, the support for side effects, Houdini, Epic Games, Unreal Engine, and, and Pixar USD wasn't yet there. Now, I don't know if this is still there, but I know for sure that sometime within the year, the folks at Tangent Lab did receive an Epic grant and uh, it had to do with Epic Games supporting Loop or Lupe for all of these things like asset management, project management, render management, uh, report and analytics, review and collaboration, and all that stuff. So right now, it makes sense to see that Lupe or Loop now has a, it has a second chance, okay? So right now, it makes sense to see that there's a chance for other people to be able to work with it. But, you know, it's more like a 50-50 thing. Many people will be excited about this. Many people will not. The reason why people will not be excited about this one is the fact that we've seen a long list of Autodesk and buying stuff. You know, Autodesk and, and, and Adobe seem to have um, some sort of brother in arms thing. They purchase some stuff, they keep it, they retain it, they fix it, they don't. You know, you don't really know what the, the thread is going to look like. But either way, we're keeping our fingers crossed and hoping that this might be integrated into uh, you know, the shot grid, or maybe might be integrated into another sort of collaboration tool. And this can come in handy for artists that would like to collaborate across different platforms in terms of collaborating through Blender to Maya, or maybe collaborating between 3D Studio Max to Houdini, or maybe from Houdini back to Maya, something like that. I just wish that they don't sort of constrain this tool to become an Autodesk centric tool but maybe keep it a bit open, just like the original intention of this tool was in the beginning. So this is more like it. The tool from the folks at Tangent Animation Studio slash Tangent Animation Labs is now owned by the folks at Autodesk. And I would like to know what you guys think about it in the comment section. 
And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.